shower tonight's gonna be amazing. Awesome! You know, this shower only happens once every 100 years. A centennial celebration! <laughs> we better get a move on. Don't want to be late. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> there. Spike, did you grab my quill and ink? Check. Scrolls? Check. I've also packed the telescope, apples, bananas, fruit punch, and my freshly baked homemade triple decker nut crazy vanilla cream cookies. <laughs> I can see that. Once again, you read my mind, Spike. And that is why you are my number one assistant. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. That is why you are my number one assistant. Miss that? Huh? I said... <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Wait, I almost forgot. I want to bring the Astronomical Astronomer's Almanac to all things astronomy. The Astronomical Lomo Common what? You know, that really old big blue book on stars, moons, planets, the universe? Right, check! Identify different planets and stars tonight. Oh, well, maybe someone borrowed it. Besides, you don't need that book. You can already name all the planets and stars because you're super smart and astronomically awesome. Thanks, Spike. You're such a flatterer. Yeah, I'm a sweet talker. And a number one assistant, right? Check. Twilight, you're lucky to have such a rad assistant. I wish I had someone to do whatever I told them. Oh, oh, me, me, me. I'll do whatever you want, Rainbow Dash. Oh, yeah, Pipsqueak? How about taking out the trash? Yes, ma'am. Do we have Spike to thank again for this amazing spread? Isn't he simply amazing? Aw, oh, come on. I said come on. Ferocious dragon started off so cutesy -wootsy. Spike, you are such a little star that I had to make this little bow tie for you. Gosh, you guys are embarrassing me. Stop it. Twilight, your turn. Spike, that's enough. All right, that's enough. Hey, every pony, the show is starting. All right. <laughs> Of Spike, can you bring us some punch? Spike? Oh, poor little thing. Oh, he's worked himself to the bone. And now the punch has been spiked! <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Spike. Sweet dreams, number one assistant. <sighs> the 
the study of comets. Comets are small, irregularly shaped bodies that are made of non-volatile grains and frozen gases. They... Have body structures that are fragile and diverse. Shoot! Oh, this is a job for Spike. If only he were awake! for returning my scroll. Gosh, it's cold tonight. Say, would you like to relax in here and keep me company while I work? Now, where was I? Oh, yes, fragile and diverse with a surrounding cloud of material called a coma that grows in size and brightens as the comet approaches. Aloysius did them for you. Who? He's our new junior assistant. He's gonna help out with your chores so you won't be so tired all the time. Well, what do we need a junior assistant for? I'm not tired. I do fine on my own. I don't need sleep. I... Spike, don't worry. He's just here to help out a little. Now I have to go out, so why don't you introduce yourself to Aloysius? He's in the library. Worried? Do I look worried? I'm not worried. Who's worried? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Whoa! Dude, that's creepy. Uh, hi there. I'm Spike. I'm sure Twilight has told you all about me. Uh, Spike? You know, assistant number one? I'm Spike. And who are you? And what are you? Who? 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 I thought your name was Aloysius. Who? Okay, who, Aloysius, whatever. I'm Spike, okay? Look, all you need to know is that I'm number one and you're number two. Got it? Who? So, a man of mystery, huh? I'm keeping my eye on you. I've got eyes in the back of my head, too, you know. Uh, well, not really, but you know what I mean. That bird is out for my job. He wants to be number one. Well, I'll prove to Twilight that I deserve to be number one. Not freaky feathers over there. I won't let him have my job if it's the last thing I do. Wonderful. He is quite the charmer. And Aloysius is just such a star. I just had to make this little bow for you. What's he all saddle sore about? He's probably just jealous of Aloysius. Maybe Spike feels threatened or worried that Aloysius will replace him. Replace him? Ha! That's crazy. Spike knows he can't be replaced. They're trying to replace me. I'd better step it up and make sure that Twilight and Aloysius know that I'm still number one. Hey, Spike, can you fetch me that book called Two-Headed Myth? Mythological Mysteries? I know where it is. Thanks, Aloysius. Hey, Spike, no worries. Aloysius flew up and got the book for me. Oh, and gee, I guess I need ferrets of fairyland, too. Hey! Oh. Oh. Calm down from there before you fall. Oh. Shoot! Yes, sir! My last writing quill. It's 
broken. Never fear. Spike, your number one assistant is here. Quill. Quill. Where is it? You're here. Quill. Quill, where is it? Where am I gonna get a quill? Spike, wait! Wait! But the store is called Quills and Sofas. You only sell two things. Sorry, Junior. All out of quills until Monday. Need a sofa? I swore I had one here somewhere. Ah, here it is. A quince. Not a quince, a quill. Right. A quail? A quilt. A quesadilla? Aha! Uh -huh. A quiche. Not a quiche, a quill. Nope, sorry. A lot of quills. Oh, shoot. when you were turning this place upside down. Aloysius gave me one of his feathers to use as a quill. That's just great. Perfect. Sweet. I think I'll just, uh, finish up the rest of my chores. Or did Aloysius already do them? Oh, no, no. There are quite a lot of them. Well, that's fine, because I can just stay up all night and finish. Hmm. Poor Spike. He'll come around. He's genuinely a good little guy. Huh? Spike, what is this? You said this book was missing. Well, Aloysius found it right where it belongs. But like this, how did it get this way? Uh, well, um, you see, I... I just didn't want to disappoint you, and, uh... Have you ever seen a dragon sneeze? I've seen a dragon lie. I'm very disappointed in you, Spike. You set me up. Well, two can play that game. Who? Not who. Two! Ugh! Aloysius is out to take my place. I just know it. I've got to stop him. But how? and get to Fluttershy's tea party. <laughs> so lifelike. And when Twilight discovers it shredded up on her floor, she'll think mouse-eating all the wishes is to blame. And I'll be number one again. <laughs> torn to pieces. It must have been Aloysius. You know, since owls eat, you know, mice. What a terrible, terrible bird. He must be punished. Right? Spike, I don't know what upsets me more. That you deliberately tried to set up Aloysius, or that you actually thought this pathetic attempt would work. 
You've let your jealousy get the best of you, Spike. I am truly disappointed. This is not the Spike I know and love. She... She doesn't love me anymore. Twilight hates me. I'm cold, hungry, tired, lonely. Could it get any worse? I guess that's a yes. Hello? If my tummy's full, the rest of me is still empty. I miss Twilight and the Pony Gang, but she doesn't love me anymore. So, I'm better off here, all by myself. Wow, seems to be getting warmer. The steam is great for my complexion, but it's sure getting hot in here. What are you doing in my cave? And why are you eating my gems? Uh, hey, bro. I didn't know this was your cave. And I didn't know these were your gems, but we're cool, right? Well, whoa. Hey, uh, we're like brothers, you know? I mean, you're a dragon, I'm a dragon. It's us against the world, right? Uh, you don't scare me. So you're big. And your claws are super sharp. Tail? Extra spiky? But, uh, you don't scare me! Ha! How'd you like that? Uh, I'd love to stay, but gotta go. See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya! About you why did you run away I thought you didn't need me anymore and that you didn't love me anymore spike sure I was disappointed but you are my number one assistant and friend and you always will be it's just that sometimes I need some help at night I can't ask you to stay up late you're a baby dragon and you need your rest owls are nocturnal so I asked Aloysius to help but not to take your place no one could ever replace you, Spike. Not even when you are being a jealous numbskull. I'm sorry, Twilight. I never should have been so jealous. And I'm sorry too, Spike. I should have been more sensitive. And Aloysius? I know now that you weren't out to take my job. Forgive me? Who? Me. Forgive me, Spike. Who? <laughs> 
He forgives you, Spike. Hey! How did you guys know where I was? It was your ketchup-covered feet. Aloysius discovered your footprints, and we followed them all the way to the cave. Oh, yeah, the ketchup. It looked pretty real, though, didn't it? Uh... <laughs> I know Princess Celestia will want to read about what happened today. I'm ready when you are. Hey, Spike. Why don't you write to Princess Celestia and tell her what you've learned? Really? Why, that's a big responsibility. I know. But nothing my number one assistant can't handle. Dear Princess Celestia, this is Spike writing to you about my adventures. This week, I learned that being jealous and telling lies gets you nowhere in friendship. I also learned that there's plenty of love for every friend to share. So from here on out, I promise that I, Spike, will... Oh, Spike. Who? Who? Spike, you know... Oh. <laughs> Something going on beyond the walls of Doc's workshop. A hidden world filled with fraggles and doozers and gorgs. Gotcha! And you're invited. Dance your cares away with your friends at Fraggle Rock. Coming up next at The Hub, where fraggles and fun come together.